Mr. Nigel Dodds. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Given, given the number of people who will be travelling from all parts of the United Kingdom, I'm sure, including Scotland, I'm sure, uh, to the Euros next uh, <laughs> week. <laughs> We, uh, we welcome everybody, and given, that, uh, given Leicester's success uh, in the Premiership, Northern Ireland at 150 to 1 is almost certain to win. Um, will the Prime Minister ensure, on a more serious note, that given the number of visitors and the security threats and all the rest of it, that the British Embassy and Consular staff are fully geared up and resourced and staff to deal with undoubtedly the problems that will arise? Well, I'm, I'm very grateful for the right honourable member for raising this issue, and I'm sure uh, this is one occasion when the whole House will want all the home nations to stay in Europe for as long as possible. I think that is something we can... Come on, now, I'm, I'm going to be watching. Our first game is England-Russia, and I'm going to be uh, watching very carefully to check we get uh, very strong support. Uh, but the Honourable General makes a very important point, which is this is a very big security undertaking. Half a million people are planning to leave the United Kingdom to go to this, uh, to go to this tournament. We have set out very clear travel advice because people do need to know that obviously there is a significant um, terrorist threat in France today and there is a potential threat uh, to this tournament. We've set out very clearly the threat level in France is critical. The threat level for the tournament is severe uh, and people need to know that. The French security operation is, is enormous. 77,000 police and gendarmes, 10,000 and military personnel, 13,000 security guards. We're providing additional counter-terrorism and public order support to the French, uh, including deployment of additional police on trains into France, more UK border force outbound checks, and we're also helping with sniffer dogs and any other areas that the French ask us for. We all want to see an absolute great celebration of European football. I wish all the home nations well. I think it's brilliant that Northern Ireland have made it uh, to this tournament, and I know we all, and of course Wales, and, of course, England. Uh, and uh, I look forward to, in the breaks in this campaign, watching some fantastic football. Yeah, yeah. Order.